my right ankle was injured while I was in the military, early set, mid mid seventies, and uh, over the years it just continued to get worse and worse. Um, because of the injury, it never really healed properly, so it continued to take and deteriorate. Arthritis grew in there and everything, and at that point, it caused me to compensate and create other issues overall. Um, I took and finally got to the point where I could not stand more than about 40 minutes on the ankle itself. And that's when I decided it was time to have something done. So we started seeing Matt uh, a couple years ago now and uh, he'd been dealing with a lot of different issues uh, for the last 35 years, some wear and tear that, that happened with the uh, from the service and some injuries. Yeah. And it basically came in with uh, bad knees, bad ankle, and some bad foot joints as well. Um, he had some good workup and some good recommendations before, but basically we wanted to really start from the top down. That's my general idea, is we ought to kind of work things from, from, from top to the bottom. Uh, he'd already been seeing some people for potential options to do for his foot and the option he's given is to fuse both his ankle and the joint underneath his ankle. Now that will do very well for the arthritic condition, but it also leaves him with a very stiff, almost like a peg leg along the area. And especially given his uh, arthritic knees as well, it sometimes can be very stressful across those areas. Uh, so ultimately we decide that, hey, we're gonna try to pursue a potential ankle replacement and save some of the joints and certainly save the motion that he has. Uh, still had to get his knees fixed first. So we kind of met each other and then said, good luck. <laughs> get your knees fixed, come back in, and we'll kind of work with that. Um, as we got through that process, knees were doing well, we kind of talked again about fusion, uh, or screwing the joints together versus an ankle replacement. He had definitely some concerns on longevity and pain after we, we addressed those, and ultimately moved forward with the ankle replacement. As of right now, is the obvious right choice. He's doing great, no pain, moving around well, able to work on uneven ground. Uh, still working on some orthotics, because he does still have some foot issues uh, that we're trying to save and try and protect with the ankle replacement. Uh, but hopefully those will be managed easily with some medications, orthotics, stuff like that. Initially when I saw Dr. DeVries, his first question was, is what do you expect from this ankle replacement? My goal, I explained to him, was I would be able to go out, cut my firewood, walk down to my mailbox or walk to the end of my road and back, which would be just about a mile. Um, comfortably and not have to take three hours off to recover so that was the whole goal of the whole thing and he says we can make that happen and as of right now i'm pretty comfortable with that solution 